I've I'm never really understood vape. Like, like you're spending so much money. money just to breathe air. And yeah, you do get a nice little buzz with it, but like it's that's, just that's never really been for me. But the main problem I have with vaping though is how addicting that shit is. People are feeding for this shit like crack in the 80s, bro. The thing about that is like, yeah, vaping be like crazy. Because I'm like, people do love it. Every single day, I like, I go to work, people vape. They have like, like all types of different sizes of vapes. Sometimes they have like these temporary vapes that have like little flavors on them. And they have like maybe like 300, 200 plus, something like that. And they switch them around back and forth. You know, and I'm like, it's crazy, you know. And especially like, I'm, I'm like at work, all right. And these guys are vaping in the store. They try to sneak about like a little, like a little one puff, two puff somewhere. And I'm like. Are y'all, are y'all, like, what are y'all doing, you know? Y'all can't just put the vape down for, like, 30 minutes and just get your work done, you know? And just doing it while you're working all that. Just cameras around the store, and people have been caught, but, you know, eventually, if y'all aren't careful, you guys will be caught vaping. It's crazy. It is like that. Like, everyone I know at work, I see more vapes than I do cigarettes. That is facts at my job. Bruh. Like, the way people get addicted to vaping just doesn't make any sense, bro. It's like there's levels to that shit, bro. Like, you got the first level of vaping. You know, if somebody else or one of your friends has it, you might take a hit or two, but you're not, like, fiending for that shit. You're also not going out of your way to get that shit. Like, if you walked into the school bathroom and people were vaping, you wouldn't ask for it, but if they offered it to you, you will take a couple hits, bro. Not scratching your neck for it yet, but, you know, a couple left turns and you could be fiending. Then you got level two. This level is for the people who vape a lot. But if you ask them, they ain't fiends yet, but they are kind of fiends. Like, most of these people do vape every day or every other day. But if one day every they magically day couldn't vape I anymore, work, they'll be straight. Sort of. Kind of. Potentially. Then you got level three. This is the level where basic human functions become harder. Like, for instance, breathing. Like, once you get to this level, holding your breath for more than five seconds will become nearly impossible. And running will be a thing of the past. Yeah, like, you can try and run, but, like, it gets wicked. Oh, this God, yes. You got in like a situation where you were running from the cops and you had to jump a fence i'm not gonna lie to you gang you better hold that big tyrone is feeling nice that day in that jail cell bro because your ass is getting caught but overall oh if you're an athlete God. and you're at level three you gotta stop hitting the knicks and start hitting the gym gang because your ass gonna be dumb bro these are the type of people like, that people can't go a cough day so much. Hit they cough like hell they, they can't go an hour like, damn chill these are the type of people that would go to the bathroom every single class to hit the nick a couple times bro. most of the time they spend all their money on these nicks and if they forget their vape at home gonna have a whole mental break Facts, facts, facts. roaming like the streets or the hallways asking people if like they have a nick on them. Hate and shit like stuff. a fucking fiend. They'll do anything for a quick suck of that vape. Oh even my if they God, have to suck yes, your they These are the people that you gotta watch out for, bro. Because these are the type of people that will snake your ass just to get a quick hit, bro. Then you got level four. This is where this shit gets crazy. Yeah, these are the people that can't go five minutes without vaping. They got like multiple flavors on them every single day. Like barbecue sauce, movie theater popcorn or some shit. And these people's lungs are pretty much done for. Like you can get to level four. Or you try to run down the street, you're just gonna fall, collapse, and just start bleeding out, bro. Like, you're gonna die. These type of people God. are the people who have them, like, high tech vapes, too, bro. Like, they be having them vapes that look like a goddamn battery or some shit. The ones that look like a part from a Transformer or something, bro. These are also the future smoking commercial stars. You know, them commercials with the old people who have, like, holes in their necks from all the cigarette abuse they've done on their lungs? Talking out of a goddamn voice box or whatever. If you get to this point, oh, you're gonna die, bro. Not gonna lie to you, boy. Next, level five. I'm the not gonna lie to you, if you get to this level, your ass must just be depressed or whatever. Cause like, why are you at this point, bro? How did you get to a level higher than uh, the last one, bro? Like the crazy. last one was either. supposed to be the peak of this shit. If you're at level five, you might now, as well just start there, smoking cigarettes. There have been a couple of level fives I've met, especially uh, one of the guys I work with. Like every day, he gives a cigarette. About every day. And I was trying to cut it, but man, dude, his teeth are done. His teeth have been done for a minute now. And all he ever does drink is Mountain Dew and smoke cigarettes. All I ever see him do every single day I go to work. I'm like, it's what he wants to do. Let him do what he wants to do. But yeah, his teeth, his mouth is done. That's all I'm going to say. He's more of like a level five. Going on six. But he's especially already past six at this point. But yeah.
bro go ahead and just speed up the process because your ass is gonna die no question if you get to this day you can't go a single second without a vaping all your day consists of is vaping and that's pretty much it bro like, you don't really got that much time to eat or drink bro like i swear to god these are the type of people that would go broke from buying vapes bro and once they run out of money they just start begging for other people's vapes i have seen that people beg, do beg, beg for cigarettes but they're not get to the point five. where they'll just do anything for one single hit and if you get to this level you hit rock bottom and that's not the only bottom that will be getting hit. That's all I'm saying. She gets like, like, not level no, five not is the last level small because small anything small past this is death. You're not surviving if you do anything more than level five. I'm just going to be real. Yo, I got merch now. Even better, actually. Oh, I got, we got merch. All right. Merch right. Heads up. Just, just look at this, bro. This looks iconic already. I'm having I a thought white black. Off, and also I didn't have the same off. design on okay. shirts, too. So if you want to get that for the summer, go ahead and get that. Pre orders for the hoodies and the shirts are already available. Pre order it right now. You get it like 40% off. Once it's off pre order and a Month, the price will never be this low again so take advantage the link to my website is right here go shop right now if you cop the hoodie and post it on instagram and tag me in it i will give you a follow back on ig so definitely do do that go ahead and support the channel and also support me but besides that that's pretty much it so get back to the video but because of the levels of vaping how i am as a person i know eventually if i vape too much i will get to at least level three i do have discipline though so i know i won't go past three probably wouldn't go past two even two is just expensive as hell I don't feel like spending all my money on vapes. Two is more. That's we honestly more the real reason why mind. I don't vape. Besides the fact that you're smoking nothing but blueberry fago. Quick story time. I remember my I first time vaping. I was on a cruise ship on vacation. I was with my cruise friends in a hot tub. Which yeah, if you haven't had the ship. experience of making cruise friends, you're missing out on life, bro. Like, I have those not, are the man. Best friends you could ever make. Let I swear to God, I'm so talked to someone that even to this day. We were all in the hot tub. We was just chopping up, chilling, enjoying the night. And it was all passing around multiple vapes, just hitting them in rotation. Now, of course, since I haven't vaped before this time every time they would try to pass it to me i would just decline it but for whatever reason one of the times they was making the rotation okay i just okay. decided to hit it so i'll take this shit all i right. hit it and at first i didn't really feel anything and then all of a sudden the vape hit me so once that shit started to hit i just started dying bro coughing like shit in a hot ass hot tub like i just felt like i was gonna die and of yeah, course when everybody move. seen this they just started Bad. laughing and shit but that shit was dead ass strong and plus i'm pretty sure it was an elf bar i'm not really sure but whatever it was, oh, it was strong those. as hell. So after I've I stopped those, dying, uh, I quickly uh, passed it back into the rotation and just told myself yeah, that I would are, never smoke again. Either. But when bigger, the rotation came back yeah. around, I decided to try it again. When I tried it this time, it actually was better than the first time. And that right there told me I did not need to be doing that shit. Though, because I could tell that this flavored air would eventually grow on me. And at the I time, I was that. broke as shit. So if it did grow on me and I happened to get addicted to it, I knew I would just start spending all my money on that shit and that shit was just not gonna happen so after that last hit i just decided that i will never smoke this shit again and whenever someone would offer it to me whether it was in the school bathroom or just in public i would always decline speaking of the school bathroom the school bathroom was always the holy grail for vaping like i swear to god it's like walking into a crack house yeah, everybody just really in their own little sections vaping and shit passing that shit around the mob and shit the whole bathroom is hot box as hell barely Jeez. see where you going and shit in every corner you go to there's always someone offering you shit hey bro you want this nick hey bro change your life you hit this nick i'm like gang i don't want oh, this shit bro geez. at the end of the day if you vape in the bathroom i have no problem with you just don't go offering me that shit bro i know you trying to be nice and you mean well but like bro i don't want to hit that shit bro that's the first step to addiction bro and i'm not doing it all in all hey, I'll end this video off by saying this. as of right now right, i would man. never vape again but if sky right. jackson or malu trevoju offer me the nick might have to make it a little exception i'm not gonna lie to you bro <laughs> all right besides that that's pretty much it appreciate all y'all for watching <laughs> all the socials instagram <laughs> twitch, twitter that? discord that? link in my description okay, my second okay. channel is also in the link in my description too go cost some merch is 50 percent off in the stores right now for a limited time so make sure you cop it right now because it's not gonna be like this forever and besides that you already know that's pretty much it so appreciate y'all boys love y'all thank you and goodbye wv wv all right let's see what we got Types of coworkers. I already know that way sometimes. So let's go ahead and get into it. Wait, also, go check out the merch. All brand shirts and hoodies are half off right now, but it's only for a limited time. So go copy some right now. Number one, the Kobe mentality person. All right, these are the type of people that always try to put they all into this little nine to five job. Yes, man. like I yes, swear to God, they can be working at some bottom tier jobs like McDonald's or Wendy's, but these.
Gonna be treating that shit like they working at goddamn NASA or some shit. Oh, no yeah, off days, no breaks. Oh my gosh, yes, we work have, hard as hell. I guess they're gonna get a different pay if they work one hard of those or some shit. And if your ass ain't working as hard as they are, they gonna get on your ass, which be the worst part about these motherfuckers, man. Oh, God, like, if you yeah. gonna work hard for your little nine to five job, cool, do you? I respect the Kobe mentality, bro. Go ahead and drop wilt numbers or some shit. But if your ass gonna get like Kobe when he was with Shaq and get on me for not trying, bro, just go home, bro. Cause I don't care about this job, bro. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs>